Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In today's video, we are going to have a look at how to perform injector test on a conventional diesel injectors. Well, conventionally, on diesel engines, we have two types of uh, injectors that are operated by fluid pressure. This one is a pintle type. In the pintle type, fuel will be supplied, high pressure fuel will be supplied on this side, and then the pressurized fuel will lift off the needle valve right here and it will get straight into the pre-combustion chamber. This is usually used for indirect injection engines where air is compressed in a pre-chamber and diesel fuel is injected on that already compressed air. And for this type, we have uh, this kind of configuration at the needle and uh, the valve body. Here we have the needle that is get lifted by diesel pressure, which is acting on this conical surface. When diesel is lifting this conical surface, the needle will be lifted off its seat and then fuel will be sprayed off this hole. So this is how the pintle type fuel injector operates. As you can see, there is only one passage. One passage is there. And depending on the profile of this needle tip, the fuel spray will be given a definite conical spray pattern. When it comes to a hole type, this is basically used on a direct injection diesel engines. Right here is where high pressure diesel fuel is introduced. And then there are tiny holes that are placed in different direction at the tip of the discharge. So fuel will be sprayed through this hole. So this is a hole type injector. This is used on direct injection diesel. Right here we have a nut for adjusting the opening pressure of the injectors. This is basically using this type of needle. So as you can see, diesel fuel will be supplied through this passage and then it will act on the conical surfaces. And once the conical surface is lifted, it will be sprayed depending on the number of holes. If there are three holes, usually they are placed at equal distance, equal angle, then it will be sprayed into the combustion chamber. This is used for direct injection, so fuel will be sprayed directly into the cylinder. Usually the piston will have a pocket combustion chamber, so it will be injected directly into the cylinder. Now, what are some of the inspections that are going to be done on these injectors? Well, the first inspection is visual inspection. All you have to do is look for any sign of damage, any sign of wear, or any sign of crack. So the first inspection is visual inspection. Just visually inspect if there are any damage, mechanical damage that are visible. So the first inspection is visual inspection. Look for any damage, any chamfers, anything that is caused by some kind of mechanical damage. So the first inspection is the visual inspection. Then the next test is the opening pressure test. As you can see, this is a prop test for injector. It's an injector prop test. All you have to do is pump this handle. There is a handle. When you press this handle, as you can see, it will be pressurized. And that pressurized fuel is fed to the injector right there. All you have to do is see at what pressure the injector opens. First, check the manual for opening pressure, and then do the prop test. In order to do the prop test, simply press it down. See when it is opening. For example, for this particular injector, it is opening at around 200 bar pressure. It is opening at around 200 bar. So simply pump it, pop test it, and see the opening pressure. For this particular injector, it is opening at 200 bar. That is opening pressure for this injector. If the injector opening pressure is not correct, you can do injector opening pressure adjustment by this adjusting screw. When you tighten this, you will be increasing the tension of the compression spring in here, and that will increase the opening pressure. When you loosen this, loosening will decrease the spring tension, and the opening pressure will be reduced. So similarly, opening pressure test for pintle type is an injection injectors can also be done similar. All you have to do is pop it and see for the opening pressure. 
The third test is the valve seat oil tight test. The valve seat oil tight test is sometimes known as the dripping test. If you see any dripping of fuel from the injector tip, that will be problematic. That will increase fuel consumption, that will increase emission, and that is not good for the engine operation. So the valve seat has to be checked. The valve seat is basically how well the needle is sealing this pressure. In order to do that, from the opening pressure that we have found, we will decrease the pressure by 10 to 20 kilograms per centimeter square below that opening pressure. For example, this was previously opening at 200 bar. I will hold the pump at a pressure less than the opening pressure. 10 bar less than the opening pressure. For example, it was opening at 200 bar. Now I will hold it somewhere at 10 to 20 less than the opening pressure which is around 180 for example. I will hold the pressure at 180 bar and then the entire pressure will remain for at least 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and do that. Simply hold the pressure at 180. This is 180. It has to keep that pressure maintained for 10 seconds. Otherwise it is dripping. See? Now it is going down, which indicates that there is leakage somewhere on the injection system. Let's do it again. Press it down, hold the pressure, and maintain it like so. It should stay for at least 10 seconds without dropping significantly. If there is a drop, it means there is a leakage either here, either here at the connection, or it might be dripping too much, or it might be dripping somewhere here. So simply Test it here, it should not be wet. If it is wet, it means the needle is not sitting correctly. It needs lapping or replacement. So, from the opening pressure, hold the pressure some 10 to 20 bar below the opening pressure and see if there is any dripping. For this particular injector, it is leaking somewhere here. Let me show you where it is dripping from. Hold it slightly below the opening temperature. Hold it slightly below the opening pressure. See, it is dripping. Actually, this one has a drippage somewhere here, but there is no leakage here. As you can see, it is still dry. There is no leakage. So the needle is sitting correctly. So this is called the valve seat test or valve seat oil tight test. Sometimes it is known as the dripping test. The fourth test is the spray pattern test. Spray pattern is where we see what type of spray is being emitted from the fuel injector outlet. For this particular injector, because it is a whole type injector, we will be expecting a spray that is uniformly distributed. So watch closely at what is coming from the injector output. It has to be even, it has to be uniformly distributed, and it should be atomizing. If it is not atomizing, then we have a problem. Let's see. Let's pop it and see. See? Now, this injector has a nice spray pattern because it is uniformly spraying in every direction. It has three holes. The three holes are injected uniformly spraying a uniform jet of fuel. If it is not like so, then it needs either maintenance or replacement. For example, there are three holes as you have observed it. If only two of them are operating, it means one hole is blocked. It needs to be cleaned. Or if it is not spraying in, in a uniform fashion, if it is not automizing, if the direction of the spray is changed, then it needs either cleaning or replacement. So this is how you do the spray pattern test. Let's go ahead and do similar test for a pintle type injector. Right here we have a pintle type injector installed. Here we have a grip. And let's see the spray pattern. It should be one single conical uniform spray that is going to be emitted. And it should not be flowing directly. Otherwise it should be sprayed and it should be atomized. Let's go ahead and see. See? 
Now this is the correct spray pattern for a pimple type injector. See there is a uniform spray and fuel is getting atomized as it is exiting. Just have a look at the spray of the pattern that is coming from here. You see there is a uniform discharge. It is narrow when it is exiting and it is widening and uh, it will have a conical effect and it is automatic, uh, automizing as it go away from the injector. This is how you perform a injector spray pattern test. The fifth inspection that we are going to do is a valve slide test. The valve slide test is done in order to see if this needle is sliding freely or not. So the first thing we have to do is we have to clean the nozzle, clean this nozzle and uh, clean the diesel needle as well. Then tilt this body 60 degrees to the horizontal and then release this, pull, up, pull, it, pull the needle up and release it. And it should slide by its own weight. If it is not sliding by its own weight, it means there is a problem. Either it needs cleaning or it needs replacement. So all you have to do is keep it 60 degree, lift the needle one third of its length, just lift it one third of its length, and then let go. It should slide on its own weight. It should drop smoothly into the body of its, with its own weight. If it is not, then it needs cleaning and it needs replacement if it is extremely damaged. You can do the same for this also. You lift it one third of its side and then you let go. It should slide in with its own weight. Otherwise, it needs cleaning. If it is not sliding smoothly, it means it needs cleaning. For example, this one is not sliding smoothly. It needs cleaning. Then you do this test repeatedly. For example, you test it once in this direction. And then you rotate the whole body 120 degree, you do the same test. And you rotate again 120 degree and you do the same test. So if it is clean and neat, it should slide freely. Previously this was not sliding that much. Now I have cleaned it. Let's see the difference. All you have to do is insert the needle and tilt it. Now it is clean. As you can see, it is sliding by its own weight. It's a little clean, still it needs a little cleaning, but this is how you do the valve slide test. The needle should slide freely with its own weight. Still there is something grabbing. Should be sliding freely. So this is a valve sliding test. All you have to do, pick it up, then drop it, it should slide freely. Otherwise, it needs cleaning. Well, there we are, that is all we have for you regarding some of the tests that are going to be done on a injector, a conventional injector. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing, turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with a video of this kind. If you like what has been presented, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.